I'm Hilla Stormbringer. I'm not sorry about that. <laughs> Too late at work. How many of you believe in magic? <laughs> when I was a young girl, oh, about five or six, I learned that there was magic in the world. And this is how it happened. Now, I am the Seneschal of the rising and benevolent <coughs> Shire of Raven's Lake. But I was born in the heart of Treegirt Sea, near Great Lake, not more than a third of a mile from the shores. And the winds blew cool most of the year, and it was a fine, beautiful place to live. <clears throat> we lived in a lovely house, and it had a backyard, a small enclosed space with a garden, some grass, nothing large in the heart of great city. I have two brothers, the same age as me. My mother had a litter. <laughs> I am sorry for that. <laughs> My brothers were not in the backyard with me. My mother was somewhere in the house looking out the front window. I was a girl of perhaps five or six. It was one of those beautiful days that you don't often have in the heart of Trigger team, <clears throat> where the sun was so bright and almost cloudlessly blue the sun was shining and sparkling, but the air was fresh, warm, and yet somehow crisp. And the breeze was sweet on my face. And there I was, running about, a girl of five or six. And all of a sudden, the wind changed. It seemed to shift. And suddenly, the sounds of the city around silenced, as if a presence were there, and the sky changed. Suddenly, it was not blue. It was black and orange and moving after butterfly, after butterfly, after butterfly appeared as if out of nowhere, streaming on a breeze and making their own wind. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of wings, wings, endless wings that blotted out the blue and made the sky a patchwork of orange and black, little flashes of creamy white, fluttering, fluttering wings, wings, wings. I, a little girl of five or six, had no words, no words to describe what this was. Some children would have been afraid because that number was incomprehensible from east to west, north to south. There was nothing except butterflies and the wings of their the wings beat this breeze around me, and I lifted up my hand, and I reached it up into a river of butterflies, and felt their wings brush around me feather soft, not running into me, not avoiding me, but just brushing against me, as if I were a living part of that living river. Occasionally one would come and settle on my shoulder, on my hair, on my other shoulder, my arm, just taking a brief breath before traveling on their long thousands mile journey. I reached my hands into a living river and became part of it. And then in the same silence that they came, they were gone. And I was under the blue sky with the crisp wind blowing about me. 
a girl of five or six. But I was changed because I reached my hand into a living river and touched magic.